Just got whipped. There's no way around sugarcoating it uh, physically, not even in the, in, the, in the area code here tonight. But uh, give them credit. They're, they're big. They're physical. We had matchup problems, obviously, tonight. Uh, rebounding issues, we knew we, that we would have those. That was of concern all year um, that we'd have some of those issues. But uh, we've been managed to hide them a little bit at times in games this year. But uh, you know, we're so awfully light and small at the four position with Kemp and Sampson. And um, we had matchup issues tonight. Um, I mean, Sykes just, I mean, scored layups on us, put his head down, offensive rebound, scored on us at will. And then Rompson controlled the game. I mean, he's terrific. I mean, he is terrific. He makes them a different team now that he's back. And, um, you know, he controlled the game, I thought, uh, for 40 minutes. I mean, he was, to me, the best player on the court. And uh, the leader, tough, made shots tonight. Um, nine assists, I think, one turnover. Um, we did the job on Jordan. Um, I thought for most of the game, didn't really kill us, which he's capable, kept him under his, his uh, average, but uh, didn't get anything didn't get anything to be able to stop the other positions. Um, they were as good as they were offensively inside. I thought they guarded the interior really well. well they did guard. And we, you know, we get a shot blocked a lot. I mean, we get we get a lot deflected or blocked inside. And uh, early, I think that intimidated. I mean, they're big. I mean, they are big, and they're athletic. And uh, you know, we got it there at times in the first half and just could not finish. Missed shots, block shots. Uh, opportunities there to get to the foul line that we didn't capitalize on. And uh, we haven't come out in games, I think, and, and, and been very aggressive. We've, we've dug ourselves at holes at times coming out to start the game we did tonight. Again, they were just, they were just, um, you know, they shot it at a high rate. And then they, then they, when they missed, they got 16 offensive rebounds. I mean, and it's just, um, you know, that was up on the board. The only thing that we didn't do of our three things that we did, the only thing we did well of the three things I wrote up on the board defensively was not foul. That was it. Which we, I mean, they, they get to the foul line and uh, a bunch, and we, we didn't do that, and that was about it. You had a 17-4 run to uh, start the second half. You went about six minutes there without scoring at all. Uh, what was the discussion? Well, well I mean, we, we have trouble at times. We have, we, we have trouble scoring at times. And then, you know, you put your best scores out in the court. There's, you know, 6-2, six, 6-2, two, six, two, six, out there. And then you can't get a rebound. So, um, um, you know, we just uh, were, not, were not good offensively for the mo majority of the time. I didn't think. Um, I mean, just I didn't think we did anything. We had chances. We missed shots. Um, had a couple of looks to, that we needed to go down. We couldn't make them. Um, just struggled for the whole night, I thought, offensively. And a lot had to do with them. Their size and their, 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 their length bothered us. And they're big in the backcourt, too, and they're strong. Kind of a wake-up call game? I mean, does it well, I don't know if it's a wake-up call. I mean, I mean, we knew they were going to be. I mean, that team beat UConn without Ramsa. So if you're going to beat UConn, who won the national championship, you're going to have some physical bodies. Um, we just didn't. I mean, it's not a shock. I mean, but it's. It's. I would have liked. I thought we'd have played better. I thought we were. You know, we had a little juice at shoot around when practices were good, but uh, we just didn't. Didn't have anything really tonight. We made an attempt to make the run, and then we just have the the bonehead play on a technical foul that just crushed anything that we had going at that point, which was just disastrous. Um, what kind of explanation did you get on the technical? It was just, I mean, it was a typical, you know, mouth technical foul. Not to the official, just, you know, you get the second one a lot of times in those things. But uh, you you got to be disciplined as a basketball player uh, to keep your mouth shut uh, in the game. That's just being undisciplined. That's being like a little kid um, on both sides. I mean, you just got to be able to, to – do that, and that hurt. That hurt us. We had a little bit of momentum going at that point, um, and it was a dead ball situation coming to a timeout, and you know it just it just demoralizes the team when something like that happens. That's very unintelligent and not disciplined, and um, that's that's very frustrating. You can make it up. 
just looking at the game tonight, you got to, it was a great team effort on our part. When you look at uh, the guys that played well for us, uh, Keith Clanton played good. You got Isaiah Sykes. Those guys really came in and, and really gave us a big lift tonight. Uh, you got to give our team credit. East Carolina kept punching us. They kept trying to make those quick runs on us. And our guys played with a lot of poise, really stayed focused down the stretch. And uh, I thought East Carolina, when they got in their pressure, was really going to cause us some problems. But our guys handled it and was able to finish the game. And I thought that was a big key, the way uh, that went down. But you got to give A.J. Romsa some credit for running our show. He really uh, got us in our offense. He set the tone defensively. He really shared the ball as well as scored. And I thought he was a big key to our, our victory tonight. Um, you dominate inside, offensively and defensively. Coming in, did you feel like you'd have a pretty big advantage there or could take advantage in there? Well, you come into the game, obviously you're concerned about Morrow, the way he can score down low. And when he gets deep post up, he can really score the ball. But uh, we did a, a good job trying to limit his touches down low, not letting him get as many deep post-ups as possible and we also wanted to try to get the ball inside and try to make them guard us in the post and, and try to really create create some opportunities where they may foul us and get in foul trouble as low, down low as well. Um, Clanton is such a threat, not just inside. I thought his threes really hurt, particularly early in the second half when I think he went up, you know, you could you, Got the big lead. Just talk about his play, if you would, and how important he was to the win. Well, uh, Keith Clanton's versatility is a big key to his game. He can score inside, outside. He's got the mid-range game, can put it on the floor, and that makes him a, a, a tough guard for someone else. But Keith, uh, night in and night out, is one of the guys that we want to go to, whether it's shooting a three or post-ups. And uh, with his versatility, uh, we want to try to cause mismatches w with his perimeter, uh, with his perimeter game. Has it been weird for you being? The, the guy in charge <laughs> last couple games? You know, it just went from uh, suggestions to making decisions. That's the biggest adjustment. Uh, you know, but it's, it's, it's been, um, you know, a good two games. Our guys have really focused in. They followed the game plan that Coach Jones helped implement. And we came in and executed it tonight as well as the last game. And you got to give our team and our players credit for coming in here and following through what they had to do to win the basketball game. ECU was coming on strong at the end of the first half. And then was there a message at halftime that you gave to your team that sort of led to you guys to come out so hot and more particularly a 13-0 run at one point? We always talk about coming out the first half and coming out with the edge and coming out focused, and our guys really came out and defended at that point. You know, we always talk about defense and what we have to do defensively to try to, you know, sustain our defense the whole half, come out, really jump on those guys, and, uh, you know, our defense really created a lot of offense at that point, which, you know, we got some steals, got some turnovers, got some rebounds, really kicked it down, and we really wanted to push the basketball early part of the half there to see if we could get some easy baskets. Darius, they guarded the interior as well as any team I've seen you guys play. They really lock in down there. Can you just talk about that and how difficult they made it for you guys to get inside buckets? Well, you know, um, Central Florida, they're, they're a good team. Um, the big, you know, they're huge down down on that back line. You know, they play that zone. It's kind of tough, but you know, I think we just we just um, had a tough night. You know, nights like this happen, and I mean, we just ready to look forward to next Saturday, next game. Uh, Dennis, it's been a while since the team shot under forty percent. Is it, you know, is one of the, is it mental? Is it, how do you describe that one when you guys have a kind of cold night? Uh, it just happens. Uh, I mean, we've been shooting the ball pretty well uh, lately. I guess, you know, we was due for a night, but, you know, we're not going to hang our heads on it. Uh, we're going to look forward to the next game, next couple practices. We got a, a lot of practices into the next game, and we're just going to try to uh, shake back from this loss. Miguel, what do you feel like went wrong today? Mm -mm. I'll touch upon what Darius say. Uh, we just had a bad shooting night. Um, I think I don't think they out muscled us or anything. Like I think they played hard. Uh, we got to lose balls, 50-50 balls we didn't get, and some rebounds that we let stick around there that we could have grabbed. Um, other than that, uh, I think we had, we all got the shots we won. We just did not most them down. Um, you can say a large part that has to do with some of the shots we took. That was we took some tough ones, some deep ones. But other than that, we 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 okay. You know, we're just gonna come back and work next week. We got a whole week of practice. Got at each other and wait for uh, can't wait to Saturday. I know me and Darius and ourselves and the teammates better. We ready, so I'm just ready to practice. I wish we didn't have a day off tomorrow. Uh, 